Hey, it's BGV, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play on this channel, ladies and gentlemen. First episodes of these series that I do tend to do pretty well, so I need to go into this with the mindset that a lot of people are going to hear this introduction, and, um... Perfect example of that is Fallout 1, and apparently uh, I gave way too long of an introduction. People hated it. They really, really hated it. I mean, I got so many comments uh, going over how basically I really needed to just play the game. And um, normally I, I just say, you know, screw you. I'm going to do what I want to do. It's my videos. But in this instance, I do agree, and I do agree that... Um, yeah, I talked for way too long, so I'm not going to do that this time around. We're going to get right into it. Um, this is Fallout 2, ladies and gentlemen. This has been something that has been asked for, uh, just like pretty much every series I do, constantly. I mean, I've gotten so many suggestions to play Fallout 2. Um, it's just been a lot, and uh, I've been excited to play it. Fallout 1 was an amazing experience, something that I didn't really expect to give me so much entertainment and joy, it being a very old game. Uh, even though I grew up during the time where this game came out, I just really, for some reason, never heard about it. Probably because I was too busy playing on consoles um, to really get into PC gaming. Plus, I was a kid, so this had a little bit too uh, mature of, of a subject matter to really uh, interest me. But... Anyways, again, we're, we're just going to jump in this time around. I'm not going to give uh, too much hoopla or anything like that. Uh, this is going to be a full playthrough, you know? And um, if you're new here, I've got all sorts of playthroughs. I specialize in 100% playthroughs of Elder Scrolls and Fallout games. So check the channel. There's tons of stuff. Uh, but anyways, this is going to be a full playthrough of Fallout 2. And I'm going to play the intro now because I'm not sure if it's going to play when I start a new game. And all of these intros and cutscenes and things like that are very important. Very interesting. No well, okay. Well, I don't know which... What I don't know what that's going to be, so I'm just going to hit the intro button. Here we go. FYI, I am going to cut out this music because Fallout games are notorious for uh, engaging copyright claims, and um, so I'm, unfortunately I'm going to have to replace the music uh, with all of these beautiful, beautifully classic tracks. It just doesn't work for YouTube. I almost always get a copyright claim. And FYI, I have seen this cutscene before uh, when getting ready to play this game. This is a blind playthrough. I didn't mention that. This is a blind playthrough. Um, I have seen these cutscenes when getting ready to um, record the video. So it's quite interesting. I think you guys will get a kick out of it. So I am not going to talk anymore. But you got your standard vault tech shenanigans. And yes, the Garden of Eden creation kit. I know I said I wouldn't talk, but that is in Fallout 3. And there you go. It, in fact, uh, I guess originated with this one. I don't think it was in Fallout 1. I don't remember. Okay, now I'm going to be quiet until the game actually starts. I love that opening. So we see the Enclave there. I don't think it's any spoilers because most of us has pro have probably War. played um, War never changes. Fallout 3 or 4. Or sorry, the end Fallout of the 3 world occurred famous. pretty much as we had predicted. Too many humans, not enough space or resources to go around. The details are trivial and pointless. The reasons, as always, purely human ones. 
the Earth was nearly wiped clean of life. A great cleansing, an atomic spark struck by human hands, quickly raged out of control. Spears of nuclear fire rained from the skies. Continents were swallowed in flames and fell beneath the boiling oceans. Humanity was almost extinguished, their spirits becoming part of the background radiation that blanketed the Earth. A quiet darkness fell across the planet, lasting many years. Few survived the devastation. Some had been fortunate enough to reach safety, taking shelter in great underground vaults. When the great darkness passed, these vaults opened, and their inhabitants emerged to begin their lives again. One of the northern tribes claims they are descended from one such vault. They hold that their founder and ancestor, one known as the Vault Dweller, once saved the world from a great evil. According to their legend, this evil arose in the far south. It corrupted all it touched, twisting men inside, turning them into beasts. Only through the bravery of this Vault Dweller was the evil destroyed. But in so doing, he lost many of his friends and suffered greatly, sacrificing much of himself to save the world. When at last he returned to the home he had fought so hard to protect, he was cast out, exiled. In confronting that which they feared, he had become something else in their eyes and no longer their champion. Forsaken by his people, he strode into the wasteland. He traveled far to the north, until he came to the Great Canyons. There he founded a small village, Arroyo, where he lived out the rest of his years. And so, for a generation since its founding, Arroyo has lived in peace, its canyons sheltering it from the outside world. It is home. Your home. But the scars left by the war have not yet healed, and the Earth has not forgotten. And there we are, ladies and gents. It's going to jump into the intro again. So uh, the important bits there are we are descended from the original vault uh, dweller or whatever the guy's called in, in Fallout 1. Um, I, my character was actually named Austin. So canonically, the guy that we're going to be playing in this playthrough is actually the descendant of my Fallout 1 character, which is going to... Uh, uh, change what I'm going to name him, which is pretty awesome. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. Let me uh, just quickly run through the options because I think um, I'll just show you what the options look like really quick. Game preferences, game difficulty. I'm going to keep it on normal. I don't know how easy or hard this game is considering it's an older game. Combat difficulty, going to keep that on normal. Violence level, of course we want maximum blood. Target highlight, whatever that means. Combat looks, I don't know. Combat messages, Verbose, I suppose. Combat taunts. Okay. Language filter off. Running. I think we want. I think we turn this to always in the um, the first game. So I'm gonna put it on always, and I need to. I, I should have had subtitles on for that, but hopefully the volume is gonna be loud enough. Uh, sure, and all this other stuff is is fine, I suppose. I'm not exactly sure. Let's start a new game, shall we? So we have our character creation here. Um, we have multiple characters to choose from. But I believe I'm going to create my own character. I do want to look at these little uh, stories, though, because this is all new to me. This is a blind playthrough, as I've said. Narg's exceptional physique has made him one of the best hunters in the tribe. Narg's first and us uh, usually only impulses to crush anything that he can't figure out. Narg has become quite adept at crushing and slicing and dicing. Narg would like to prove his worthiness to lead the tribe, and he'll let nothing stand in his way. So he's the melee character, I'm assuming. We've got Mingan. Mingan's whisper-soft tread and acquisitive fingers have always aided his natural curiosity. Several years ago, the tribe decided that Mingan's talents would be best used on someone else. Since then, Mingan has been the tribe's most accomplished scout. However, the tents of nearby tribes provide little challenge these days. It's time to scout farther afield. So he looks like the stealth character. We've got... Chitsa? Chitsa has always been able to convince others to do things her way. Her winning personality and stunning good looks have often caused others to underestimate the tribe's best trader. In the course of her frequent journeys, Krista has learned to deal with the perils of traveling the wastes. Now the tribe needs help and new paths back into Chitsa. So that's like the speech character, I suppose. Um, let's create a character. So, let's go with the name here. And I'm actually going to name him. This is going to be cringy, but it's also kind of cool. 
I'm gonna name him like Autin, Autin, or something like that. Autin, Autin. Um, he is the descendant, and this is a tribal community. I know it seems silly, it seems cringy, trust me, I know, but I also like it, as I said. Um, because my original Fallout 1 character was named Austin, he came from the vault, and this character is tribal, so aw, uh, apostrophe, teen. I don't know, I like it. I, I hope other people like it too. What? Is this really the default age? Autine. Um... I'm actually 25 in real life, and I think that's what we kept the first game, too. I am male. Last I checked. Okay, so we're going to run through this fast, because last time, again, everybody was just getting on my case about taking too long. Um, so I've got a whole bunch of notes here, considering this is an older game to help me out. Uh, this is still blind, but, you know, jumping into this completely blind is a total mistake, because it, you're just not going to know how to play the game whatsoever. So first thing is we got to make sure that there's all of our points are allocated and uh, this will help some people that are new to this game as well. So apparently we don't want to decrease strength because the um, you just don't want to. I'm not sure why I forget why I didn't write why I just wrote don't decrease strength. But if you want uh, big guns, you want seven to eight, but I don't think we'll use big guns. So I think we'll keep it at five. Perception is very useful, but um, I've heard agility is amazing and I've heard that you really want 10 agility. In fact, in fact, can we make it? No, we can't. So we're going to put agility up to that for now. Um, perception is good, though. Uh, if we need any points, we can take points from endurance. So we'll take one for now from endurance. Um, charisma is for a large party in speech. I usually don't like companions, but I do like speech. So we might raise charisma, uh, charisma in a second. Uh, intelligence is for more skill points for each level. That sounds really good. Um, agility is more uh, actions per turn. Maybe we'll put that. No, we'll keep it on 10. I, I usually, even in Fallout 3 in New Vegas, I put this to 10. Luck is for gambling. So, honestly, I'm going to... I'm not lucky in real life. Fate, karma, extremely high or low luck will affect the character somehow. Events and situations will be changed by how lucky or unlucky your character is. Hmm. Should we not take... I want intelligence and I want charisma. Perception and strength are fine. Um, should we take one more from endurance? I suppose so. Um, let's put one into charisma. Uh, let's go like that. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about is luck. I don't know if three luck is like too bad or not. Should we take one from, say, charisma and then put it into luck? Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to do that. Strength five, perception five, endurance three, charisma six, intelligence seven, agility ten. Or should we put intelligence... No, we'll keep it. We'll keep it like that. Agility ten, luck four. Okay, now we need to uh, tag our weapons, and we want to tag. Oh, these are the traits. Uh, yeah. Okay, so here's where we. Here's where we tag over here. I guess this is just telling you about this. So um, we have to decide which weapon we want to use because that is going to be the very important tag skill. So we got small guns, big guns, energy weapons, unarmed melee weapons, throwing, first aid, doctor, sneak, lockpick, steel, trap, science, repair, speech, barter, gambling, outdoorsman. Let's go small guns. I usually like small guns. Does it say which types of guns? The use, care, and general knowledge of small firearms, pistols, SMGs, and rifles. Yes, I want to use rifles, so we're going to tag small guns. Then we can tag three things. Uh, let's tag lockpick. I guess we'll go for a sort of stealth character. The skill of opening locks without the proper key, the use of lockpicks or electronic lockpicks will greatly enhance the skill. And finally, we can either do like speech or outdoorsman. Now, outdoorsman, um, I I'm not going to go over this too much longer, so don't worry. But outdoorsman apparently uh, changes your random encounters. If you don't have a good outdoorsman skill, apparently you get destroyed early game. Whereas speech is obviously super duper helpful um, because you can just get around a lot of different things. I want my guy to be charismatic and intelligent mainly while also being stealthy so should we tag speech we can't tag both right no should we tag speech okay chill um or outdoorsman you know what i ain't scared let's just go with speech small guns lockpick and speech and then we have these optional traits here i don't even know what these are your metabolic rate is twice normal. This means that you are much less resistant to radiation and poison, but your body heals faster. I, I'm probably not going to take any of these, honestly. Um, Premier statistics are each plus one, but you lose 10% on, on all skills to start. No, that sounds awful. 
You do not gain as many extra abilities. You gain a perk every four le- That sounds awful, too. What's sex appeal? Members of the opposite sex are attracted to you, but those of the same sex tend to become quite, quite jealous. That, wow, I really messed that up. Those of the same sex tend to become quite jealous. I'm just not going to take any of these. Yeah. I don't like... I don't... I really don't... Oh, bloody mess, though. I don't know if we should take that or not. Shoot! Uh... It, it really did change things in the first game. You always see the worst way a person can die. Screw it. Let's take it. We're going to take bloody mess. Okay. That's that. Still took 15 minutes to get rolling, but I don't Come know. Come in, chosen one. There are things you must know. The village is dying. Is just a the bomb signs on the are right everywhere. There? Withering crops. Dying Brahmin. Sick children. There is hope, however. A slim hope. That few know of. The old discs speak of an item called the Garden of Eden Creation Kit. It is said it can bring life to the wasteland. This will be your quest, if you prove yourself worthy. For that proof, you must first journey to the Temple of Trials. If you survive, come back to me. We will talk more. Our life is in your hands, Chosen One. Prove yourself. Find the Gek. Be our salvation. And here we are. So we've got Always Run On. Which apparently is very, very, very helpful. Um, do we have anything at all? Strong kick, strong punch. I should open up our inventory. This looks extremely... It's like the same exact thing. What is this? Oh, we got a spear. All right. Well, equip that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can only imagine how many people don't actually equip that. Oh, we got this dude over here. Um, how do I talk to you? You see spear, you see Clint, a fellow tribesman. So, yeah, it looks like it's actually the same exact style as Fallout 1, which will be great because I hopefully should remember that. Greetings, Chosen One. It's good to see you. How may I serve you? Just thought I'd say hello. I'll be leaving on my quest soon. May the spirits of our ancestors protect you, Chosen One. I wish you well on your journey. Well, thanks. What a nice guy, Clint. Well, let's just move. Yeah, so far it's the same exact controls as Fallout 1, which is great. Um, I was really thinking, I was kind of scared that it might be completely different. Okay, so I don't know what these things are. Can we, it looks like giant ants. You see, gi <laughs> that's literally what, they, what they're called. Uh, we also have to read this down here um because it, it's kind of you know it's kind of like a tabletop rpg it's going to give us descriptions of where we are and what we can do etc you're in a dark musty temple the shadows seem to play tricks with your eyes and you can hear the faint sound of movement so this is where we came from um the question is is there any like secret stuff in here i don't know anything about the story or anything so i don't know what we're doing what are well obviously i know that we're we have to get through the trial of the temple of trials or whatever let's fight this ant um there's a way to enter combat. What does A do? I believe A does something. Okay, yeah, A actually activates combat. And then, well, let's um, let's attack it. Target out of range. Okay, that makes sense. I want to get out of combat, actually. And I think we did. Good. So let's actually get close to it. There we go. It, it, okay, the it engaged combat, which is good, because now it's going to use its turn to move to me. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to move to it. Let's see if we can attack from, like, three spaces away. I think I click this and then click that, right? Oh boy, it is just like Fallout 1 in that <laughs> we have such a low chance to hit. Um, so, so as you guys can see, it says AP4. We need four of these little green dots to be able to attack. This is exactly like Fallout 1. Um, so we're just going to have to end our turn. Or should we run away? Let's run away. That's actually smarter. Because now it's going to... Wait, why do we have another... Why do we have another turn now? Okay, let's get right up next to it, and let's attack it. Uh, giant Ant was hit for four points, as you guys can see down there. And now let's run away. I don't know why we got all of that AP back. Giant Ant missed. Nice try, guy. 
We have a 41% chance to hit. This is awful, man. Um, Giant Ant was hit for four points and was killed. Okay, wonderful. Um, now, let's end combat by pressing spacebar, I believe. Uh, for destroying your enemies without taking a scratch, you earn 25 experience points. I've still got it. Okay, now can I loot the ant? He looks dead. <laughs> yeah, okay. Where is his... How do I loot him? I thought you were... Uh... I should be able to loot him, no? But there's no loot icon. All right, I'm assuming I just can't. I don't, I don't actually know. And I thought there was another ant. Okay. Hi, little guy. Uh, let me get right up next to you. And I'm going to go ahead and stab you a little bit. You missed. Okay, surprise, surprise. You need four action points. I'm going to run away. And are we going to... Wow. Okay, because we have so much agility, we must just get, like, two whole... Um... AP bars or something? I don't know why we're getting, like, two whole AP bars. But it works for me. All right, that's it. So we can press space to end combat. And we get 25 experience points. Can we loot this guy? No, we can only look at him. And then I think this is my inventory. Maybe not. Maybe this is his inv uh, inventory. Don't really know. Okay, let's move on. Um, these Fallout games, these early Fallout games, well, at least the first one, has so much hidden stuff all over the place that you kind of have to just watch out for. But uh, I don't think there's anything in here just yet. So let's open up the door. So I'm le I'm holding, le this is on Steam, by the way, using a keyboard and mouse. And I'm holding left click to sort of examine these things. I think we'll fully explore this whole entire first dungeon just to get some experience and, um, you know, get as many items as we can. If there are, in fact, items, I don't actually know. Okay, we'll get in range, dude. He's hit for three points. Looks like he's got, I think, um... Yeah. Wow. We have so many freaking ability points. It's crazy. Um, are we gonna level up at all? Uh, another 25 experience points. Can we sort of... How do we, like, view our character and see... What does that do? Oh, that switches weapons. Okay. What does this do? Save game, load game, preferences. Oh, oh, oh. One of the main tips is save your game call it main save and save extremely often it seems obvious but a lot of people are not going to do that i don't know if that's in my inventory or his inventory and i, I need to see my character there it is um what was i looking for i was looking for oh experience to next level uh there was a pit boy button yeah the pit boy button is what we want oh we're not wearing okay what about this there we go experience 75 next level thousand oh my god we gotta kill what four ants times to, we gotta kill 40 ants, right? If my math's correct. Probably not. Should The number one rule on my uh, YouTube channel is to never ever do math because I'm seriously the worst and I'm not just saying that. I'm honestly god awful at, uh, at math. These giant ants suck. Um, they're missing me pretty much every time and they die in one to two hits. So we have so much goddamn AC, whatever that means, action points, you know? It's crazy, man. We seriously have so many. It, it's quite awesome, in fact. Um, okay, we're gonna end our turn. These ants, I don't think, have hit me once. I wish... Man, it's just like um, Fallout uh, Fallout 1 in that it doesn't give me a... Oh, we were finally hit for one HP. Okay, there we go. Um, let's end our combat. We get 50, so yeah, we're getting 25 experience points for each one. Is this their... Well, I don't know. If that is their inventory, they're not... They don't, they're not dropping anything. We got this thing here. Yeah, see, now we have the hand icon. So, I don't know. We must just not be able to loot the ants. But now we can loot this. There we go. And what do we have? What is this? You see healing powder. Oh, just like in Fallout New Vegas. So, um, I might get some of this wrong. And I know it's silly since I'm a Bethesda YouTuber. I should know all of this. But, uh, from what I understand, um, since, um... <sighs> Obsidian or Black Isle or whatever. I, they change names and all this sort of stuff. It's confusing to me to remember. Floor Depression? It's interesting that it's... Yeah, that is my inventory. Okay. 
Um, you know, this was made by Black Isle Studios, and I don't remember exactly who made... Uh, I, I, I know, it's just like, it's one of those things where you constantly made errors in the past, so now your brain thinks that the error is the truth. But whether it was Black Isle or Obsidian, you know, who made Fallout New Vegas, they kept all of the same sort of stuff from the original two Fallout games. And you'll see a lot of that, like the healing powder. He healing powder is an item in Fallout New Vegas, and so now it is uh, an item here as well. So that's pretty cool. We have a scorpion here. We got to be much... Oh, God, two scorpions. Okay, we got to be much more careful here. All right, we hit him for nine points. Damn. Uh, we should have a whole nother bar of actions now. There we go. He's dead. All right. Uh, can we end combat, actually? We can. And then we can loot this guy, finally. And he's got a scorpion tail, just like in Fallout 1. Okay, works for me. Let's kill this scorpion as well. Um, is he not going to notice me? You need four action points. Well, okay, don't... Oh, we're in combat now, okay. Uh, we were hit for two points. Let's be very careful here. I wouldn't be surprised if these scorpions actually had, like, poison. Um, so we don't want to get poisoned right now. We want to have them miss. They have a lot more hit points than the ants, it seems. And we're poisoned. Just like I said. Okay, that's not good. Wow. Wow. Um, well, we gotta watch our HP. We got 120 experience points for that one. I know we're going kind of slow here, folks. The thing is that, um, you know, like I said, I want to explore this whole area just to make sure that I don't miss anything. Uh, so our HP is at 22 and we are poisoned. I don't really know what that means exactly. Is there nothing here? Is there no reason to kill these scorpions? Sometimes you gotta like seriously like go against the wall to see if there's anything hidden back here. That's that's what I'm trying to do. I guess there's nothing here. All right. Um, looks like looks like our HP does not go down when we're poisoned outside of combat, which works for me. Now it wants me to go through there, obviously. So let's go through here. See if there's anything in these little alcoves. HP still at 22. Okay. Got to be some enemies over here, right? What is that? The remains of. Oh, but just bones, okay. Well, maybe... Oh, what is that? Oh, shoot, it's another... Oh, my gosh, don't... Okay, he missed. Unfortunately, it's so dark or whatever that we're... Uh, we have a very small chance of hitting, which is making me anxious. Come on. Oh, my gosh, this was just how the... Uh, we got poisoned again, but it's seemingly not doing anything at the moment. I don't know. Let's get his tail as well. You don't have enough action. Well, end the... I wish it ended the turn. I mean, there's got to be a reason it doesn't do that, but I wish it ended the turn. I know I can press te uh, take all, by the way. Oh, boy. All right, let's not die in the first area. Let's please not die in the first area. There's even another scorpion. How am I out of range? Jeez, I... I, I... I already uh, messed up by not saving, FYI. I should have saved before this. Um, we should be able to access our inventory during these fights, though. Let's go for this guy since he's going to attack next. And if we can kill him off, that'd be great. But it's not going to happen. Okay, we missed that one. We were hit for one point. Still don't know what the poison's doing. Down goes the first scorpion. Looks like we only get that bone. Oh, my gosh. All right. All right. You need to hit him, buddy. You need to hit him, Autine. I'm not, I'm not sure how I'm going to pronounce that. I will figure out the pronunciation later. Oh my gosh, this is infuriating. And I, if, as far as I know, there's nothing that we can do. We kind of just have to keep hoping that we roll the hit. And we are not rolling the hit whatsoever. And meanwhile, this guy is hitting me almost every time. All right, there we go. Holy crap. <sighs> These old games are so tough, man. And I know you veterans are like, it's not even tough, GV. You just suck. Okay, pal. All right. Good for you, man. You're a, you're a Fallout 2 expert. Cool beans. Um... Let's use the healing powder. Does it work like that? I think I have to... How do I... How do I use this? Ah, oh, these old games, dude. I guess I put it on item two, and then I switch to item two, and then I use item two. Click it on myself. There we are. Okay. All right. You lost one perception. Well, that better not be permanent, because that would be quite awful if that's the case. Search the bones. And the bones have got one spear. Already got a spear, so that's quite bad. 
Especially if every character starts a spear, because the, then why in the heck are you giving me a spear? Who knows? All right, let's move on. I would like to beat this first tutorial area in this first episode. The thing is, I obviously don't know how long this tutorial area is, because this is a blind playthrough. The door appears to be locked. Well, luckily for you, I tagged lockpick. You definitely picked the lock on the door. You gained 25 experience points. Now, I'm assuming that um, anybody can pick that lock. Otherwise, you'd have to find a key. And I mean, as far as I know, I searched everything. No? Unless there's something like back here. But I'm not seeing anything. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I just see like a little pot somewhere? Wait, 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 wait. Like right here. Probably not. I'm surprised that there's no key on the bones. You would think that um, characters that don't have any lockpick are not going to be able to get through this, and they need to actually find the key. Maybe not, though. But we picked it, so let's open it. And see what we have next. Okay, so back there is where we came. And forward, let's scout ahead a little bit. What in the world is that thing? You see chasm. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> You see a metal door. It looks like that's going to be where we want to go. Ooh, there's a chest over there. And there's a chest over there. Well, I ain't scared of no scorpions. Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened here? Check this out. How far does this go? Oh, my God. You see a raised plate. You trigger the trap and narrowly avoid the projectile shot from the wall. You trigger the trap and narrowly. Same thing. Same thing. So we activated three traps, but avoided... I should have seen the bones. There's a spear on the ground. A sharpened pole. Should I grab it? I'm gonna take it. You see a raised plate. Oh, no. Um. So, can we look at the... Can we look at, like, the damage of this? There we go. A wood pole sharpened at one end. Minim minimum strength four. It weighs three pounds. Uh. I mean, you would think, wouldn't the... Wouldn't the would the spear be better, right? But I'll I'll take this just in case. Okay, 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 stop, stop, stop. Where are the raised... Are there more raised plates, or is it only that room? Looks like it might only be that room. Holy crap. Anything else? Any other raised plates? Well, we definitely want to activate those chests. So let's kill the scorpion. Oh, there's two of them again? Um, there was a way to, like... No, 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 no. There was a way to, like, um... Yeah, yeah! Oh, you can throw the... Yeah, there's different combat moves. So we can... Yeah, we can do a targeted... Um, throw. Okay, so we can just normally attack, or we can uh, do a target attack, or we can throw the spear, and then a targeted throw. Yeah, all right. So let's do a targeted... Man, it sure... Man, I'm so glad I played Fallout 1 before I played this game, because I. it's, it's so easy to play now. Um, let's do a targeted thing. Head, eyes, claw, foreleg. Yeah, so you can... It's kind of like vats, right? But there's no point because we're not gonna... We're not gonna hit this anyways. So let's just do a normal thrust. Oh, if we can kill this guy right off the bat, that'd be so... Come on, just give me... <gasps> we did! Yes! Okay, now let's move closer because we should have another... A whole nother bar of uh, AP. Always out of range, though. Super annoying. That would be so wonderful if I could kill them all. Um, first round. Oh my gosh. And why didn't I save, too? I just realized that. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We only took one hit. Let's end our let's end the combat. Oh boy. All right. Can we like use these cuz in the first game the scorpion tails were used um for to heal uh, poison. Uh you're at your maximum weight. All right, if that's the case, let me put back like 3. Yeah, the scorpion tails, I remember, they weigh a shit ton. There's no space left for that. Huh? Do that. I can't put things in bodies? All right, fine. Um, that means that we need to drop some of these then on the ground. You better let me drop. There we go. All right, let's just drop three. Okay. Because we have this chest here. Hopefully it's not trapped or something. 
good. Oh, just what I needed. Oh my gosh, thank you. We got some healing powder. Man, I'm so glad I'm able to competently play this game. I know it's like, gosh, dude, you do YouTube as a living. You're, you're proud of the fact that you can play a video game. But come on, man. You know this is not like as easy as other games to just jump in and play. You gotta actually research a little bit, okay? Is there any deal with this thing at all? Guess not. There's this urn here. Okay, the ants caught wind, but the ants are, like, basically free, so I'm not worried about these dudes. Not worried about these dudes at all. Give them a big whap. Need another action point. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I need to save. I'm a dummy. Okay, hopefully those didn't notice me, and we can end this here. Okay, now let's save the game. Yeah, this is the whole UI and everything is this exact same as um, Fallout One. All right, come on, give me some good luck. Whoa! So annoying, missing everything at the start of the game, man. Okay, one hit point and three hit points. Die, die! Oh Jesus! <sighs> what is this, Morwind, dude? If we die here, we'll just reload. I'm not gonna actually use the healing powder. Um, yeah, that works for me. Okay. Now let's actually use the healing powder. Uh, how do I do this again? Oh, so you can use it from the menu. Just have to right click. All right. Ant. So we can't actually loot the ants, which is ridiculous. Uh, should we save? No. Let's just keep going, because if we die... Okay, the ant missed. Good. Yes! Thank you. All right. End our turn. Um, gonna keep trying to loot these dudes, even though I know we can't. Got another chest up here. It feels like such a monumental, you know, achievement to, like, loot these two chests just because this game is so old and so, um, probably more difficult than, than other games. Just seems like a difficult game, you know what I mean? Um, could be wrong. Could be an easy game. I don't know. I'm just saying. It's, it, hopefully you know what I mean. It like, seems like such an achievement to get, uh to get these two chests. Please don't be trapped. I keep forgetting that that might happen. I don't know if they can be. What is that? An oh, antidote. Okay. Yeah, that's the same as the first. Alright, we'll use it, I guess, since we're poisoned. Um, you lost 23 current poison level. Alright, it didn't seem like the poison was doing much, but, you know, I'd rather not be poisoned. Okay, let's go through this door. So far, so good, I guess, but, you know, it's kind of still a little tricky here. Losing a lot of HP. And um, our perception uh, is very low. Our chances of hitting things are super, super low. Um, you see impenetrable door. Is it really going to let me lockpick this one as well? Didn't even give me a... Don't even want to, like, let me... You see impenetrable... Okay, sure. The old worn door looks like it could be destroyed with a well-placed explosive. Uh, all right. Well, how in the hell do I find an explosive? Are these interactable? No. Did I... I mean, that's the issue with this game. So much shit blends into the walls, you know what I mean? It's it's hard to, um... It's hard to see, like, literally everything. I, what did I... What did I miss? Can I, like, search these? No, I can't search those. And we, I mean, we looted the two chests. There was nothing in there. Good game design would, would relegate that. It's interesting we can actually close it. I mean, we don't have an explosive right now. I mean, we, we yeah, we, we've got nothing. And it's not... Oh, I guess... Oh, just try the explosive skill, maybe. Do we just come, like, equipped with some explosives? Sneak, lockpick, steal, traps, first aid, doctor, science, repair. Try repairing it, maybe? You can't repair that. Well, why isn't it giving me at least, like, a... It's not even giving a mess giving me a message for the um for the uh lockpick motion. Well folks, I don't Oh, what the hell? Wait. Did I Huh? I thought didn't I loot this? Did I just not see that? What the heck? Alright, well I don't I almost feel like interacting with this door makes that spawn in this pot. Cause didn't we get the healing powder out of that and then use it? That is super odd. All right. Well, that looks like an explosive to me. Yeah, plastic explosives. So what do we do here? Um, I think we have to do that and then 
this. Did that do it? I feel like <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna explode myself here, so let's just <laughs> let's back up a little bit and let's save the game. I feel like I'm definitely about to destroy myself. Okay, uh yeah, all right, so I, again, this shit is so confusing, but, you know, not that bad. I just got to get in the motions, is my point. See, like, there's a right click, and then I don't want to drop it on the ground. That does nothing. What, what do you mean that does nothing? Oh, you know what? I probably have to put it here. And maybe, can I, can I throw this? Oh. What the hell? Alright. <laughs> uh, what hap- No. What are you doing? Why did it remove it? Oh, it's on the ground now. Jesus. Alright, bear with me, folks. Bear with me, okay? I, I, it's a learning process. Alright, so here's, here's what we do. That's gonna arm it for ten seconds. Boom. You set the timer. Let's run away. That should be- I don't, I don't think that's gonna be ten minutes. Oh my god, it actually worked. Due to the inept handling, the explosive detonates prematurely. Oh, shoot. You trigger the trap and nearly... What do you mean? What trap? I'm just trying to go through a thing here. Oh my gosh, it looks like this dungeon might go for a while, folks. Got this door here. Huh? Oh, another ant? That's fine. Oh, I've got to... Alright, let's kick him. Let's see if... Um... No, let's switch weapons, I guess. It should use some AP, I think. Maybe not. Alright. I, I want to throw it, too, but I don't know if that's going to... Um, okay, I, I, yeah, I don't know if throwing my weapon is going to... Uh, get rid of it, basically. Alright, folks, well, uh, we got this door here. We got let, Let's scout a little bit ahead before we end this first episode, I suppose. We got a chest there. We've got a chest there. Uh, there. Probably some scorpion... Yeah, the scorpions are the tough ones. The scorpions are the tough ones. Oh, boy. And we've got this here. And then... Oh, you know what? Well, we got this guy. Okay, let's just try making it to the... Um, yeah, let's just try making it to that guy. Let's go kill this ant first. The ants uh, really don't matter too much. The scorpions are the ones that are going to poison you. And just ruin your day overall. Now, do we get the extra AC? No, not this time. He hit me for two. This piece of garbage ant. Will you just get hit? Oh my gosh, this is infuriating. Previously, you were able to um, drop a torch, I think. Increase the light level, basically. Can we hit this guy? It's a 40% chance, dude. Like, come on. 40 times 4. It, it, that should mean that I, I should hit him. Jesus. Okay, can, can we get a level up? Holy God, what, where are we at? Still like 300 points off, Jesus. Yeah, uh, I'm not getting frustrated, I'm just, I'm, just, I, I'm just expressing the difficulties of the game, which is not against the game at all, it's just things that you gotta get used to, is my point. Alright, what's in the chest? Um, I'm actually really enjoying, are you, <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Why would you put a chest there and put nothing? I need some healing. I mean, putting a little healing powder there isn't that big of a deal, I don't think. Can we go ahead and open this? It just opens up. All right. Well, um... Oh, boy. There, I, I saw at least one scorpion. Yeah. If there's only one, we should be able to do this. I don't know if we're going to have some sort of boss fight or something. Save the game yet again. Might not be smart to save it over this one since that ant kind of kicked our ass a bit. But, uh... Oh. Okay, he missed. If we could just flat out kill... Oh, there's another one in that room. All right, please, hit him again. Please. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Good. Okay, thank you. End that combat. That was perfect, so... No, 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 mister. No, no, no. No, mister. You're supposed to. I think we can actually run away, but um, I ain't no bitch. Let's do a targeted... No, target's not gonna mat. Well... It's better to, I think, have extra AP, so I'm not even going to target, since we're probably not going to hit him, you know. Do we get the extra AP? Yeah, okay, come on. Yes, and one more, come on. Oh my god, you can't just give it to me one time, dude. Please. And we got hit, and we got poisoned. Jesus, these scorpions are very bad. Very bad news. Alright, they're probably just going to have tails, but let's look at them anyways. I... 
How come sometimes it ends combat right when I'm done, but other times it doesn't? I don't understand that. Okay, more scorpion tails. Please have a healing powder. That'd be so awesome. I don't know what scorpions would be doing with healing powder, but you never know. You never know. Okay, I still don't know what this poison stuff is doing. We don't have an antidote, though. Might die at the very start here. This chest bet. I swear to God, if this chest doesn't have something, dude, I will be so surprised. Okay, that is what I'm talking about. Nice. Now, what did I see? I saw something like remains. Oh, lesser scorpion. All right. Well, I mean, there's not really any point of killing all these things since it, we just kind of have to use the stuff that we got from killing them anyways. The healing powder and the antidote. But um, maybe we can hold on to it. Maybe this guy will fully heal us. Probably not. But let's see what this guy does. So got this big fire here. Can we do anything with this? Okay. Who are you? Greetings, Autine. I have the honor of being your final challenge. To continue in your quest, you must defeat me in unarmed combat. Shall we begin? I've got some questions for you first. What would you like to know? Why do we have to fight? The path of the Chosen One is not an easy trail to walk, Autine. You'll be faced with many challenges throughout your lifetime, and the most difficult of these will be dealing with your fellow man. There will come a time when diplomacy and tact will prove to be useless, and your hand must be raised instead. This challenge prepares you to face another human and look him in the eyes and know that you may have to kill him. Um, what type of character are we going to play? I think since we're intelligent and charismatic, we're going to be kind of like calm and a good guy. We're going to play a good guy. I think it's been a while since I've actually played a good character. Um, somebody who, yeah, speech is out of it. So I disagree with you. I think that a peaceful solution to any pro uh, problem is possible. You may be correct, Autine, but not in our current situation. You must defeat me to succeed in your trial. Look, I don't know all of your strengths and weaknesses, and you don't know me, uh, mine. Accidents do happen, so what if one of us inadvertently kills the other? kills the other other let's just end this now rather than take that chance okay hmm i see your point i wouldn't want to be responsible for killing you and all i meant to do was to test your metal very well you may pass chosen one <laughs> yeah dude oh my gosh first try so if this works like fallout one basically most likely how it works is that you have a chance of passing those speech options um and i guess we got lucky there because we don't have you know that much speech dude hell yeah Oh my god. First episode success. Okay, folks, I don't know what's behind this door, but I feel very successful right now. I know, again, those of you that have played this, you're probably like, oh my gosh, you're just playing the game. But you have to keep in mind, blind playthrough, old game, completely different than what I'm used to playing, at least in a long time, because I did play games like this in the past, but not anytime recently. Um, folks, I'm having a blast already. I mean, seriously, I had so much more fun than I ever thought would be possible with the first game. And the fact that this is the one that everybody always talks about is really uh, getting me excited to play more of this. So, hope you enjoyed this first episode. This will be a complete playthrough. So, uh, yeah, you know, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. I don't like to push all my stuff too much. But, you know, it does help out. So, if you want to see more, obviously, do all that stuff. Follow the links in the description. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, any criticisms and help is very much appreciated, although any spoilers will be completely just overlooked because I don't want any spoilers of any kind. Thanks for watching this first episode. Look forward to playing the next one. I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye.